Hi everyone! Today, I'm excited to introduce the highly anticipated high-performance single-board computer, the Armsom 67. Believe it or not, I actually won this in a giveaway on X. I was pretty surprised, but thrilled to receive it. So in this video, let's explore what the 67 is capable of. The 67 is powered by the RK3588 processor, boasting impressive specs like 8K output, dual 2.5 GBE ports, and NVMe support, a true high-end powerhouse. The 67 significantly outperforms the Raspberry Pi 5, especially in terms of CPU, GPU, and memory capabilities. Basically, it could function just like your everyday PC, fast, powerful, and capable of handling your daily tasks without any issues. The 67 is a compact single board computer powered with Rockchip's latest flagship SoC, the RK3588. It's also designed for AI applications, featuring a 6 tops MPU for accelerated inference tasks and support for 8K video decoding and encoding. This makes it an excellent choice for ARM based PCs, edge computing, and AI development. That said, a spec sheet alone can't truly convey how well a device performs. So today, I'll give you a first-hand look at the power of the 67 by running Deep6 large language model using two different methods. This hands-on approach will give us a real sense of its processing capabilities. All right, this is the Armsom 67 itself. Let's take a closer look at what is on the 67 board. First up, this is the heart of the system, the RK3588 CPU. As for memory, you can go up to 32GB of LPDDR4X RAM, but the one I've got here has 8GB. Still, adequately powerful. Next, we've got storage. You can use eMMC, an NVMe SSD, or even a micro SD card. For this video, we are burning the RBN OS to the eMMC. For video output, there are three options HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort, and MIPI DSi. In this video, we are going with HDMI. Now, let's talk networking. It has dual 2.5 GBE ports, so yep, two of them. And on top of that, you've got Wi-Fi 6 and a Bluetooth 5.2 built-in. When it comes to expandability, 67 doesn't disappoint. It's got a 40-pin JPIO and an M.2 slot for even more connectivity. For more detailed specs, be sure to check out the official site. As you can see, it's compact yet solid built. But what excites me the most is that it's an open source project. The schematics are available for anyone to view. Why not take a look and imagine building your very own Linux machine with the RK3588? After checking out the Seek 7, now let's talk about DeepSeek. You're probably familiar with it, but why do I choose DeepSeek for today's video? Of course its popularity and the buzz surrounding it played a part. But the main reason is that when it comes to running large language models locally, your best options are open source models like DeepSeek. Unlike XAI's Grok or OpenAI's ChatGPT, which are not open source, and inaccessible to the general public. So naturally, I had to give it a try. Let's dive in. Before we dive into the detailed steps, there are one important thing I'd like to mention. All the tasks we'll be doing today will be done in the official OS environment, specifically using RBN for 6.7. To follow along, please install the official OS onto your eMMC 
using the instructions in the official documents. While you can boot from an SD card, I highly recommend using eMMC for much faster performance. Once the OS installation is complete, it's time to dive in and explore two different ways to run DeepSeek. In this video, I'll introduce two different methods to make DeepSeek work on the SIG 7. The first method is using Olama. Olama is an open source tool designed to run large language models locally. In simple terms, it allows you to run large language models directly on your own machine without relying on cloud services and internet connections. It's particularly popular among users who prioritize privacy or prefer experimenting with AI in their local environments. The second method is using RKMPU. The RKMPU, which stands for Rocket Chip Neural Processing Unit, is a dedicated processor designed for efficient AI tasks. Rockchip offers a suite of tools and libraries that allow you to convert and run large language models on their chips, such as the RK3588. This method leverages the MPU to accelerate AI model performance. I'll walk you through that part a bit later. First, let's dive into the Olama method. First, let's make sure we have everything we need. You need a stable internet connection to download the necessary files. And of course, the ARMSOM 6.7 board itself, properly set up with peripherals like monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Additionally, ensure that the official OS is installed and the system is running and ready to go. Once everything is set up, we can proceed with the downloading and running the DeepSeek model. Let's move on. First, let's get Olama. Open the browser on your ARMSOM 6.7, go to the Olama website, navigate to the download page. Click the Linux icon in the middle. This will show you the download command. Copy the command displayed and paste it into the terminal on your ARMSOM 6.7. Execute the command to download Olama. After the Olama download is completed, we will download and run the model. Go back to the Olama website. Click the Models tab. In a search bar, type DeepSeek to find the available models. Select DeepSeek R1. From the drop-down menu, choose 1.5b. Once selected, a command will appear on the right side. Copy this command and paste it into your 6.7 terminal to execute it. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Now let's have some fun. What is the one thing you would most like to ask an AI? This one, right? How to get rich. Let's see what kind of answer we get, and maybe we will all become millionaires. Now grab that money, and let's move on to the next topic. Next up, I'll introduce the second method, which utilizes the RKMPU. The steps for using RKMPU are a bit more involved. First, let's check what you will need. The setup is the same as before. The only difference this time is that you ideally need an x86-based Linux machine, though it's not mandatory. I'll explain why later. Please pay attention to this part. I mistakenly thought everything should be done on the ARMSOM 6.7. But after trying many things, it didn't work out. Actually, this portion corresponds from section 6.2 to the first part of section 6.3.4, and the official documentation must be done on a separate Linux machine, not on the ARMSOM 6.7. What? Do I need another Linux machine? 
I don't have one, and it sounds like a hassle. Well, good news. You can skip this whole part. All the tasks that would need to be done on a Linux machine have already been taken care of by ArmSum's engineers. They've kindly prepared and made all the resulting files available for us. Isn't that awesome? You can grab the necessary files from this GitHub repository. From now on, we will be running several commands to get things done. Let's ensure that the necessary packages are installed to run the required commands. 7z, this is needed to extract compressed files. Git, this is needed to fetch the program from repositories. Curl, this is needed to download the converted model files. Since we will be using the GPU, we need to enable the RKNPU. To do so, execute the following configuration command. In the configuration menu, select system, then choose kernel, followed by overlays. Next, select the Panther GPU option. Hit save and reboot the system. This will enable GPU usage. Now let's clone the necessary repository to ARMSOM67. This will be the demo program repository that we will use later. After cloning, we will copy the demo Linux ARC64 folder to slash mount slash user data slash demo Linux ARC64. This folder will be where you execute the demo program later. You can technically place the files anywhere, but for consistency with the documentation and to avoid confusion, we are copying them to the same place described in the documentation. Now you are ready to move on to the next steps. Now let's download the pre-converted compressed model files for 6.7 which were kindly prepared by the ARMSOM engineers. Once the download is complete, you need to extract the compressed file using the 7z command. After extracting, copy the model files to the required location to ensure consistency with the official documentation. We will copy the model files to the slash mount slash user data slash demo Linux ARC64 folder. At this point, all the necessary files should be ready. However, if you proceed to the next step directly, you might encounter a permission error. To avoid this, we will set folder permissions to 777 so that all files are accessible. Now let's set up the libraries for use by exporting the library path as described in the official documentation section 6.3.4. After setting this up, you can run the demo program. The demo program should start successfully. Let's ask it the same question, how to get a reach. You get the answer, just like before, but this time it's utilizing the GPU for better performance. Running DeepSeek locally on the ARMSOM 6.7 is truly fascinating. I've also written an article on the same topic, where you can find all the links and comments mentioned in this video. It's not written in English, but I'm sure you can handle it with the DeepSeek's translation, right? I'll include the link in the description. 
The full article costs a few dollars, but you will get a little more detailed description of the steps. If you don't mind seeing it as a small donation, feel free to check it out. In this video, I explained two ways to run DeepSeek locally. The Olama method was very straightforward, but since it's designed to be universally compatible, it can only use a CPU in this case, which puts a bit of a load on the 6.7's processor. The second method utilizing the GPU allowed the 1.5B model to run with relatively less difficulty. Running high-performance models requires more memory and better CPU-GPU performance, but even with this configuration, we were able to experience its impressive capabilities. This showcased just how powerful the ARMSOM 6.7 is. With that said, I think that's all for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and see you soon.